Welcome back to What Are Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a bishop. It's a tier 5 British SPG, and this one's located on the south spawn of Abbey, and it's under the command of the base man from hell. Yes, he's at it again, I'm afraid. And uh, this time on adding that with the uh, tier 5. Now, this is a RT based on the Valentine tank, as you can see. And it's very slow. Very slow. But it does have a rather good gunner, 45 inch howitzer, which is capable of 450 alpha if it can penetrate the target. It can only penetrate up to 28 millimeters once it sits up against the tier 4, tier 5, and maybe tier 3 opponents. Sometimes it can pen the target. And he's taking it off to the uh, east side of the cap area and he's looking into the village. There's an M5A1 Stuart there. Now, this is a tier 5 game. He's top tier and he's facing tier 4 opponents. Well, lovely full shot. Hits the Stuart, does 236 hit points of damage. Now, reload time is 10.21 seconds and you can see some destruction going on in the village. So, yep, there's the Stuart moving up. Now, dialing in. And lining up a shot. It's very quick at dialing in and very quick at loading the bishop. Fires. Ooh, no, he didn't fire, and it was actually his teammate, the Panzer 4H, who literally blasted that steward out of existence. We found another target, an A20. And that's a one shot kill. 340 hit points. That must have been a pen. Took him out of the game completely. One shot. Okay, next target is a Panzer 4H. Over on the west side of the map. That's actually showing on the mini map. It's actually showing on the north spawn when we're on. And we're looking at the west side of the map now. Yep. Now, reload almost complete. Rounds out straight away. And the direct hit. And he's wiped out momentarily afterwards. Now, you just noticed the reticule flatten. That's because the, band, uh, the bishop has a very limited range. And that's actually because, in reality, on the real bishops, the gun mount didn't have quite the elevation that it needed in order to work properly. And then the enemy tank, the P2640, has made his way into our cap area with one of his own teammates. And they're now threatening the cap. So, Baseman's got below that... Uh, that plateau to fire at the enemy. Going for the P2640. It's the tier 4 Italian medium. Dialing in. Rounds out. No, he's moved. There's a Hetzer with him. Almost ready to shoot. Loads it. Rounds out straight away on the Hetzer. And he gets a direct hit and wipes him out. P2640's next. He's pulled back below that ridge line. We can't see him now. He's probably sitting on that ramp somewhere, trying to work out where the RT is. And our Matilda's moving up on the east side, so hopefully he'll spot the P2640 soon, and Baseman will start firing at him. In the meantime, a Type 95's turned up. Fire around at him, and well, it's a near miss. 30 hit points. There's not much splash on the 4.5-inch gun, but he's certainly got some there. Going for the P26. Grabs out, should his engine? Yes, it did hit him. 157 hit points off that one. I thought for sure that that would wipe him out completely. He was very lucky to survive that shell's going to miss. Yep. I'd go for the Type 95 at this point because the Type 95 is stationary. He's not doing anything. And grabs out on the P26. Kill shot. 59 hit points. He's out the game. Right, we've got a pair of Type 95s now. Fires around him, blind at the first one, but doesn't get hit. As uh, because he moved up the slope. Going for him again. There's a very narrow arc on this gun. And he takes out the Type 95 and potentially he's got top uh, the high caliber. Bounce out. Hits the front of him for 136. The Panzer 4H is moving up for the kill. And he gets it. There are only four enemies left. And it appears that we've got the um, the high caliber. But the problem is we need to maintain the fire rate in order to keep that. 
and somebody was picking the map on the west side and that might be to indicate that the Matilda Black Prince uh, is moving up down uh, the corridors on the west side behind Baseman and behind that covenant so he's sitting up there on the heights overlooking the cap area and I think that Matilda is making his way up that side yes and a Largo with him he's just been spotted by the Covenanter so Baseman's getting out of there quick he's, uh, he's very slow and very vulnerable to a shot from that Largo the armour on the Vandertine is pretty good at the front but at the rear it's pretty terrible okay he's turning around to shoot but he can't because the, he's too close to the mountain so he's going to have to find a better firing position it might be better to go to the dip on his left because then when the Largo tries to make his way to the cap, he'll be able to get the shot. The Covenant is almost out of health. He managed to get down that slope. Now, Baseman's trying to get a shot on the Largo if he comes out to the gap. We've got a T28E with the F30 gun behind us. Back at the enemy cap area though. Okay, there's the Largo. We have got a shot. Out. And it's a big hit. Ow, and he got a fire and it blew up. So he's got the arsonist badge for that one. It must have hit the engine deck, set fire to the tank, and it just went up just like that. So he saved the covenant from a hate worse than death. No, well, not from a hate worse than death. From being sent back to Carrod. But there are only four left on his team, three on the enemy's team. And unfortunately, the three on the enemy team, two of them are Matilda Black Prince, the uh, tier five British medium with very heavy armor. And the, the other one's the key from the E with the F-30 gun, which is the Soviet medium tank with an 85 million to gun in it, which is particularly deadly. Now, it appears that two of his teammates are in the Abbey area, or in the Abbey grounds. Well, the Panzer 4H went into the Abbey. The A20 appears to be beneath it in the buildings around the bottom. And he's fired a speculative shot where he thinks the T28 is located. But I suspect that the Matilda Black Prince, uh, both of them, have actually gone up the west side of the map and are making their way towards our camp area. The Covenant is still looking over the cap area. If that Matilda comes up behind him, he won't last more than one shot. Now the view range on the Valentine, on the um, on the Bishop, based on a Valentine chassis, is 250 meters. So it's not exactly a good thing for him to go looking for the enemy because they'll see him coming before he sees them. And I think the base man's trying to indicate to the Panzer 4H and the A20 that they should go towards the enemy cap, try and find where the enemy's got to. He can fire from this position onto the enemy cap area. But if he can't see the enemy, he can't shoot at them. He needs somebody to spot for him. Now I'm wondering if that A20 is actually overturned, because he hasn't moved at all. He might be on his side. Panzer 4H is making his way towards that uh, that pass on the east side next to the river road. I wonder if he's going to take up an ambush position near the cap in the northeast. No, he's going down the river road. Now, as arty players, we tend to pay more attention to the minimap than anything else, really. Because, of course, it's the source of our targets. We need to know where the target is so we can shoot it. And I suspect that Baseman's not really willing to move from this position just yet, because it does give him good cover from the enemy. And he can always adjust his position to shoot at the enemy the moment the other guys spot him. Well, 
I think Panzer 4H is under fire, or at least he may have seen one of the enemy. Or has he? No. I wonder if he's under fire because he was just indicating help. Yes, he was under fire from a T28E with the F30 gun ahead of him. So, can we get a shot? It's outside range, unfortunately. So, base man's going to have to move to get into range. It's the unfortunate thing about the bishop, it has got such a limited range. And he was spotted by Matilda up in the Abbey grounds. So, the enemy knows where he is now as well. And the Matilda's coming after him. Now, the, the bishop is very good at shotgunning, but... Oh! We just lost the Covenanter, and that was the Matilda. He's up near the RCAP area. We got a hit on the T2080. But where's that Black Prince gone? There he is. He's only a short distance away. Uh, T2080 is still there. Can we get a shot? No, we can't. He's in defilade. That, that hill's in the way. Here's the Black Prince. He's coming after us. We're turning to shotgun. Getting ready. Oh, he fired the shotgun in, but it didn't kill him. And we're now being nailed by that Matilda Zen, that fast-firing gun. Oh, no, that round didn't go over. He lifted the front of the bishop up, and the shell went flying over the top of the Matilda. So, base man's been killed. And there's the A20, and he wasn't overturned, but he was hiding behind that house, and it looks to me like he might be AFK. Or is he? No, he is. He is still alive, but he's just not moving. He might be uh, wedged in there and can't move. He's certainly not turning his tracks over, though his engine is turning and his turret's turning. Yeah, I think he's wedged in. I think he's actually uh, marooned. He's gone over a rock, and he's got a rock underneath, which means his tracks aren't really properly in contact, and he can't get out. You can see his smoke's coming out of his engine, but he's definitely not moving at all. He's desperately trying to get away from there, but he can't. You know, he's the last one alive on the team. The Panzer 4H has been killed, and the enemy is now capping. Looks to me like they've given up trying to find out where the A20 is. And so they just decided to cap to force him to come back to them. And he can't come back to them. Oh, he's firing against the wall. And he just damaged himself. Yeah, he's damaging himself by doing this because um, he's firing HE rounds and they're exploding in the wall and damaging him. They can't turn, and the others are trying to give him advice to get off. He is definitely in the room. He's been, he's been raised up by a rock underneath him, and his tracks just can't get enough purchase, and so he can't move. And the T28E with the F30 is, I think he's spotted him. Can we get a shot on that T28? It's only five hit points, that tank. He's trying. Oh, this is so sad. This... There's these little tank traps on various maps around uh, the game. There's one of these on Erlenberg. It's on the ice on the northwest corner of the map. And if you uh, if you go over a certain ridge line, the tank will just literally lift off the ground and you can't move. It won't let you go anywhere. And that T28 is trying to get a shot on him. But I'm not sure that... Gamedic, if that is his name, can actually shoot back. And um, they've capped out to win, so that's it, the game's over. Oh, so sad. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for base man from hell in the bishop. He managed to get a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. He got five. He got an arsonist for setting fire to that Largo and not watching it burn up. I got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, crew incapacitations or module damage. He got 16 in that game. And he did pick up the high caliber. He did the most damage overall in the game. 
And it's just a pity that, that Matilda was able to lift him up to make sure that his shots went over the top of his turret. Uh, win 8 for the game, 6-8-2-3, Super Unicum Standard. So let's have a look at the uh, team scores. Well, there you go. Right at the top of the table, 1,881 hit points of damage. The best that the enemy could do was their T28E with the F30, managed 1,116. And then they had their Matilda Black Prince, who managed to get 851. And then the uh, other Matilda with 786. Um, when it came to kills, though, it was definitely yeah, base man who managed to get the highest amount. He got five kills. The Matilda Black Prince, or one of them, got four. Then the other one got three. So did the Panzer 4H. When it came to base XP, it was the T28 who managed to get the highest amount. He got 775. The Matilda managed to get 641. The other Matilda, 574. But uh, base man still managed to get 504 base XP. So he did work hard, and uh, five is a pretty respectable score. I'm sure he would have got a top gun if he'd been able to shotgun that Matilda and get good, good hits into him. So let's have a look at detail report. He fired 19 rounds. He got 11 direct hits and 1 penetration, 12 splash, damage of 1,881 hit points, of which 1,365 were at more than 300 meters. He received 5 hits from the enemy during that game, and all 5 were penetrations, I'm afraid. Um, he also damaged 10 of the enemy, killed 5 of them, and did damage assistance, so 148 hit points. On a premium account, he actually earned 30,825 credits, he got 14,310 for completing the mission, and because he picked up an epic medal, the High Caliber, he got the Courageous Resistance Award, which equalises his score with that of the enemy team, or that of the winning team, rather, um, So as if he had been on the winning team himself. So he got 4,950 out of that. His total came to 50,085 credits, which is not bad for a Tier 5 RT. Now his repair, ammunition resupply, and consumable costs took that down to 23,221 credits to take away. He picked up one bond for getting the high calibre, and he also earned 756 XP, 445 for Courageous Resistance, 601 for completing the mission and events, and took away 1,802 experience points altogether. So, um, yep, it was actually a platoon, this battle. He was in a What RT Noobs platoon with one of his teammates. You can see here that uh, he was actually in platoon with Hum UK, and uh, this was a What RT Noobs uh, group. Um, he was in the T67 during that game. Uh, he got 243 hit points but didn't get any kills, but uh, we didn't see much of him actually during the battle. But uh, I'm sure that we will have more platoons that uh, Base Man's in, because I, I did actually see several posts showing that uh, we've got more replays to do with the base man from hell in and next time it will probably be a win so if you enjoyed this replay please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that i'll be featuring in the next video